Hello guys, welcome back. Today was a bit of a bodge session, um, but I thought I'd take the time out to show you a new camera. I've got myself a brand new underwater camera filming those underwater videos you guys love so much. I've got it right here with me now inside its waterproof case. This session was um, supposed to be an underwater session filming with this new camera I've got. It was off to a really, really bad start. It's taken me, it's a two hour session and it's taken me about an hour and a half to catch one bait for perch, because that's what I'm after. So I got that one bait, took the underwater ca camera out, got one shot of a perch, absolutely nailing it. And I'm gonna include it at the end of this video so you can kind of see the sort of quality that I'm getting from this new camera. Now, I've been using the same action camera for many years now, uh, since I very first started doing underwater filming with these. Uh, for takes pike and perch and barbel etc um, and then I decided to upgrade and I spent about £400 on um, GoPro Hero 6 I think it was when it first came out and the quality was absolutely amazing I used it for about maybe four or five underwater videos and um, I also used it for when I was walking and wading down the rivers in the summertime doing my law fishing you guys love them videos as well but due to breaking my phone about four times I had to fork out for a new phone and I didn't have the money so I pawned in the the, the Hero 6 and um, got myself with that a cheap digital SLR camera cheap DSLR camera uh, which is a Nikon D3100 which is what you're watching me off right now uh, and a new phone because that's what I needed and I went back to using my old my old action camera as I say that new GoPro that I, I bought back then was about £400 I think you can get it for maybe two, three £300 now with the Hero 6 um, but I ended up finding a competitor to that camera, uh, which recorded in exactly the same quality. And it's this camera I've got here now. The um, link to this is in the description. I'll just take it out of its waterproof housing for you so you can have a better look. And there we go. Beautiful little camera. Nice wide screen on the back. This records in the exactly the same resolution as the GoPro Hero 6 did. I think it goes up to 4K at 30 frames per second. Now my editing software can't compete with that. I can only do uh, 1080p, but the quality is still there. Uh, even in my videos, as you saw with my old videos uh, with the Hero 6, the quality was fantastic. Even though I was um, editing it in 1080p, the quality of these is absolutely awesome. Um, so yeah, this is basically records in the exactly the same quality uh, as that Hero 6, but this one costs just over £100. I think it's something like that. The link is in the description, uh, but the Hero 6 is, I, I don't know, when it first came out it was like 400 I think it's probably about, uh, I think it's probably about 200 and something now, something like that. But yeah, it comes with waterproof housing as well as loads of other bits and bobs, some of which I don't even know what they're for, but I'm sure I'll figure it out over time. Uh, but all of them mean that I can, I can do my underwater filming really well. Underwater housing's there, perfect. I'll attach that to whatever I'm doing to do my underwater filming. I'm sure one day in the future I'll show a couple of setups for how I do certain types of underwater filming. But for now, I'm going to show you the camera that I'm using. I've already taken it out of my practice session, uh, just general fishing. Yeah, it's going to be a video that I upload soon, probably just after this one. Well, I'm fishing with Dom and I had it on a chest mount. The audio on it's really good, pitch quality is really good. So I'm going to be using this for a lot of my law fishing as well. Now, to quickly show you the snippet of the underwater filming that I've just got with it. It's only a few seconds, but you get to see the quality of uh, the new camera, which is going to be recording my videos in future. And here it is now. So I hope you guys enjoyed that and it 
turns a bad session into a good one because I get to show you a new bit of tech that I'm using to improve the quality of my videos as well as getting to see a lot lovely perch taking that bait unfortunately I didn't land the fish but um, that's just my look today I've not got a great deal of it but <laughs> hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you guys next time